I made a tweet about that plays blackjack with people. This is my proudest creation so far and I had so much fun doing it. So make sure to stick around to see how I did it. To make this happen, I first needed to understand how blackjack is played. I won't go into details here, but basically, you're dealt two cards that hold a certain value. Number cards are valued by their numbers, cards with the letters J, Q and K have the value of 10, and an ace has a value of 1 or 11. But you don't get to pick. The value of ace is counted whether you will go over 21 if it counted as an 11, and if it did, it counts as a 1. Your goal is to have a value in your hand that is as close to 21 as possible, but it can't be above, otherwise you lose. Oh, and the dealer who gives you the cards is also playing against you, and you must beat him by having a higher number than him. You don't hit that! You don't hit that! He took the bus card! So, now we can get to making the actual program. My idea is this. The bot tweets every 3 hours. In its first post, it shows a picture of the player's cards and people get to decide whether they hit or stand. This is blackjack slang whether you want another card or not. After this, it replies to its tweet with two messages, one saying hit and the other one saying stand. Whichever one gets more likes, that's what's gonna happen in the next post. After the player goes above 21 or decides to stand, the bot tweets the result of the game and another one can begin in the next 3 hours. And this goes on until the literal end of time. Probably not. To do all of this, I decided to use Python. I also needed to make a post on Twitter somehow, so this is where this library comes into play. After you apply for a developer account on Twitter, which requires writing a few words explaining what your bot will do, and you get approved, you get your API credentials and you can use those in your code to happily tweet. The next thing that needs to be taken care of is creating the image it's gonna be posting. With my professional googling skills, I found out that the library that's best for this is Pillow. It can do exactly what I need it to do, which is pasting the card pictures on top of the base image I created in Illustrator. And the program is slowly coming together. The last thing on the list is the card system. Now, I could download the faces of all 52 cards and create a system for shuffling and drawing the cards, but... Here's the reason why sometimes asking weird questions is worth it. There's an API for a deck of cards. On this website, you can generate your deck of cards and with the get request, draw a certain amount of cards, shuffle the deck and more. The website returns a JSON file with a link to the images, alongside information like the remaining number of cards. On top of all this, I needed to write some functions like getting the value of cards in a person's hand, store some local information about the current game, the dealer's cards, the player's cards and the game data, such as the game number or whether it's continuing or not. This will be used at the beginning of the script to determine if we're playing a new game or that we should check for the the latest tweet to decide if a player wants to hit or stand. Now it's time for just some finishing touches. I put a little shadow under the cards using an alpha mask, which is a black and white picture that determines which pixels are shown. White means visible, black means transparent. I also put a little logo in the corner, a date and some game statistics. Then I felt a little bad for the fourth corner, so I decided to put something there as well. It might seem random at first, but it's actually the Shrek script spelling out letter by letter, because why not? The last thing I added was some custom messages, so from time to time the bot tries to be funny. Now, I can't say that I haven't dealt with numerous errors while coding it, but the payoff after you run the script and it finally works is priceless. And that's it! The bot is called Blackjack Bobby on Twitter if you want to check it out in action. If you want to see the whole code, you can join my Discord server, it's all there. I had a lot of fun making this and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can change your mind anytime. Bye!